Hey y'all, so I forgot I was vlogging, not vlogging this, but making a video. So yeah, let's get into the video of me doing DIY at home passion twists. <laughs> Hi my lovelies, so we're starting out this video with just some of the materials that you will need for this portion. I use some heat protectant, an oil of my choice, leave-in conditioner, some clips, a comb, a brush, and you will need a blow dryer. Okay y'all, so we're starting off with freshly washed hair that I separated into four sections that we will be blow drying. So here I am. First you want to spray your heat protectant. I use some cream of nature um, heat protectant. Boom, right there in your face. Okay, so I'm just rubbing that through my hair and you wanna make sure you get that distributed evenly throughout your hair. La 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 la. And next I'm going in with some chi like silk infusion. This will also just help create a silky texture to your hair when you do apply that heat and blow dry it. And I put a dime size of amount in my hand and I just rub that through this section as well. We are starting in the front of my hair. I did the back of my hair already. And to be honest, it wasn't that organized as this. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm just detangling some of those ends yes it is very tangled but that's okay that's what we're using this wide tooth comb for if you do have a loose, looser texture um, it won't be as hard but we're getting through it now I'm just parting my hair into a couple of sections just so I can blow dry them separately um, it's pretty hard for me to blow dry my hair all in one section so I do like to split that whole section into about two or three parts depending on the thickness of your hair and how your hair just takes to heat um, you can do this anyway I'm just parting right now with a comb Side note people, you do want to make sure you are separating and then clipping that section to the side. You don't want any flyaways or other pieces of hair from the other section coming into the section that you are blow drying. And again, I'm just rubbing my fingers through my hair because yes, we love that and getting some of those last minute tangles out. Now the fun part, blow drying. The way I blow dry my hair is um, I start with the root of my hair and I work my way down, kind of the opposite of the way I detangle my hair. I do use the tension method, so that is a slight pull on my hair just to give that visual of elongating my hair while I blow dry it. I am using the Hot Iron Tools Mini Travel Blow Dryer. I love this blow dryer. It is small, um, smaller than a household blow dryer, and it does come with the detachable ends. Right now I am using the, I don't know what they call that, um, but it's like the elongated kind of detachable that you can put on there. And as you can see, I am blow drying my hair. So we're speeding it up for the people in the back. I'm just going through in that section. And I am using a heat resistant vent brush that I got from the hair store. Um, it helps with just brushing through and getting those last minute tangles. And again, here you go with a close up of my hair and how it looks once I think it's blow, it's blow dried enough and then I just go through and I twist it um, so that it just signals to me that it's a finished section.
Y'all, at this point, I'm still hearing the yelling and just catching the tea. So, yeah. It's like, why is she yelling like that? Back to this tutorial, y'all. So, I am just finishing up this section, blow drying it, as you can see, starting at the root and just going down the shaft of my hair, getting that all nice and straight. Quick tip I did find that holding the brush at the end while putting the blow dryer to that open ended vent side just helped. Um, the airflow and help me brush through it if you do have a brush detachable in for your blow dryer I do recommend using that and I'm just laughing talking to my boyfriend's roommate um, Greg we was catching the tea together so that was always that's always funny now that I'm done with that section of hair I just take that section make one twist so now that I have two twists I can twist those into one and do the banding method which is my technique for stretching out my natural hair I take two ponytail holders and I wrap one down the half of my hair shaft and then the other one down and this is the final look okay y'all so we have finished kind of like the first section of the passion twist style this is not the actual style I just had to blow dry my hair straight but what I am going to do is I am going to um, add some leave-in like cream conditioner I don't have any moisturizing cream but this it can serve as a cream it says a softening leave-in conditioning cream so it kind of does two in one which we like that um, and yeah here we are girl unraveling our hair to be honest i could have done this as i was blow drying each section but i didn't know what i was doing this is my first time so i'm putting a quarter size amount of leave-in in each section and just combing back through it because we can never detangle too much and now that i have done this i am going through and plaiting um, my hair into two and then I combine those sections by twisting them into two as we will see when we get through this clip and once again I'm twisting those two plaits into one twist and doing the banding stretching method once again This is me the next morning. As you can see, I have my hair tied in a silk scarf, which I definitely recommend after stretching your hair. Um, I am now preparing the hair that I will be using for my passion twist by running some warm water in the bathtub. This will be the base for our water vinegar rinse that we're gonna do on the hair just to help decrease with itching of the scalp. The hair that I will be using today is the Free Tress Braid Water Wave. I'm using the 12 inch pack and I got six packs um, of this hair. And then we're gonna go in with some distilled white vinegar. 
we are going to do about two cups you could do one to two cups of this i do suffer from seborrheic dermatitis so i will be using the max amount of two cups just so the hair will not agitate my scalp After you're done with making that mixture, you just want to take the braid hair out of the pack and keep this string attached just so you don't have the hair floating everywhere because that will be a disaster and just lay it in the tub like so. I did go back through and kind of agitate the hair just so the mixture could get into it um, and make sure you just keep the hair to itself so you don't get any tangles. I let the hair sit for about two hours so you can go and run your errands do whatever you need to do and come back and check on it when you do come back to get your hair you just want to run it through some cold water once through or a couple of times and just squeeze out the excess water i do have a towel on the side of the tub and definitely could have done a better job of showing you that just to lay the hair out on so it could air dry after taking it out of the water i did let the hair air dry throughout the night so once i got ready to go to bed which was about maybe three hours or not three hours, maybe about five hours after this, I did hang the hair up on a hanger. Yes, girl, I was definitely Miss MacGyver with this. I let it hang dried in my closet with the door open, of course, and with a towel underneath the hanging hanger so it could catch all the excess water.